Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I got this project here, which is kind of for beginners or people that love uh, working with solar power. But um, I got a 12 volt, 24 volt spotlight here. It's a regular LED, you know, two wire light. I got a PWM charge controller, which has the capability to turn on a load. As you can see, we got a load terminal here. This is also 12 volts, 24 volts operational. And I got two buttons here, which I can program the load, which will be how many hours I wanted to run for, automatic or one to 14 hours, or if I wanted a manual. And um, it's basically gonna turn on the light at night, turn it off in the daytime. And um, I don't have to worry about using the photo cells or any other kind of sensors on there. Everything will be programmed in here and it's gonna basically control my lighting where I need it. So let's get to it. All right guys, so this is the charge controller here and these two terminals, they'll be your solar panel. These two will be your battery and these two will be your load. And you can see there's a plus minus across every terminal. This looks to be like a Phoenix connector and looks like you can put about 12 gauge wire on there, maybe a little bit thicker, but 12 gauge should be enough as 12 gauge can handle about 20 amps and will determine on the length and the composition of the wire so this wire here is going to be my solar panel which i'm going to use a power supply at the moment for testing this wire here is for my led light and i got my battery one here on the side so with all charge controllers you always want to hook up your battery first so i got the wires here and you can use some and connectors on here if you want I'm using regular bare wire at the moment and I'm gonna put my ground here and I'm using gray or black as my ground some people use black as power so you always got to double check your voltage some people wire it like if it's AC And this is pretty snug there, so it's not going to move. So I got my battery hooked up, and my battery shows 12.8. And there's a backlight here, which kind of hard to see, I guess. So that's my voltage there on my solar panel. My battery is 12.8, and the setting I have for my load is at zero. Some people might think that's the voltage, but it's actually the program that you have set on your charge controller so we're gonna get these two wires here once again black is negative and red is positive and if I didn't mention I got two ports on the side which are 5 volts 2 amps and you can use that to charge a cell phone a tablet any USB uh, device so I'm gonna turn on my power supply. And the reason I'm using a power supply is because I'm indoors and the solar panels won't produce enough power to, you know, get this unit running. So battery again is at 12.8. My load is on zero. And the 13.8, that'll be my power supply. Let me turn it off. As you can see, the voltage drops. So that's gonna be what's gonna trigger my load. All right. Now I'm going to get my light. This is an LED spotlight. And these are 12, 24 volt operational. Once again, the black wire is my ground here. And you always want to double check wires. I've seen solar panels where the wires are, you know, using the opposite direction. Well, the red will be my ground on some of them. So you got to be careful and always double check everything. So... If we're on the battery tab here, we hit enter, leave in, and you can select what kind of battery you want. You got gel, flooded, and we'll just leave it here at the regular SEO setting there. Now, as you can see, it shows bad here. We'll press select on my load. If you hit enter and leave it press, you can put the setting you want. I have zero for automatic, which means when my solar panel hits zero volts at night, it's going to kick this on five minutes afterwards. And then when the sun kicks on, 
it'll turn this off because the voltage on the solar panel is rising. So, power supply is on. 13.8 volts there. My battery is 12.8. And my load set at zero. So what I'm going to do now is turn off my power supply. Leave the phone recording here. And in five minutes, this light should turn on. So I'll be back in about five minutes. So some things I like about this charge controller is the compact size of it. It appears to be about an inch by about three, by maybe about four and three quarters or something like that. Uh, it's 12 volts, 24 volts. It'll automatically detect the voltage on there. Um, it has a lot of different uh, protection circuits on there. Over voltage, over current, uh, reverse polarity, and so on. Uh, it accepts 12 gauge wire, which is nice for the size of the charge controller. Has an LCD display with backlight. Um, has indicators on here. For example, you'll see two bars there on the battery, and that'll kind of show you on there where, where your battery voltage is at, or if it's over 16 volts or whatnot. You can select gel AGM batteries on there. Now, some of the products I've seen from Energy, um, they've been tested or approved under a certain uh, underwriter laboratory as the UL1703 or the IEC standards uh, 61215 and so on. Um, I don't see anything listed on here. For example, you know, for example, this morning star here. Well, I thought I had it on here. Like on, for example, this one has a uh, standards up on here. Hmm. I might have been uh, looking at another one previously, but you got your class one, div two, you know, groups A, B, C, D. All that this is made for like the oil field where you got gas and stuff like that. Um, the diverse load control here, that's uh, the best thing that I liked about it. And one of the reasons is I have bought these sensors to hook up to one of these. And for example, this one here has load control, but this one basically, it'll just protect your battery once the voltage hits a low uh a low limit on there it's going to turn it off and this one actually can control an on and off for a, a light fixture or whatnot um basically the four stage uh charging on there which is bulk boost uh float and equalization um this is 12 volts and 24 volts so at 12 volts you should be able to put about uh i want to say about 160 watts that should be about 10 amps or so and at 24 volts you can do about 320 or so um other than that um pretty neat little product i'm not too sure about the rc32 on here what you can hook up to or what you can actually see but um other than that it's pretty nice about 14 dollars and 99 cents so right under 15 bucks so hopefully hopefully the five minutes are around the corner because i don't know what else to say about this besides this being a uh, Kind of like a plastic ABS uh, case. And um, that should be it. And once again, you have the, the gel and the, what was the other one? The gel and the flooded uh, for the battery there. Some people had mentioned it was ready for lithium, but it didn't give me no lithium uh, setting on there. It might be on the, on the 20 and 30 amp units itself. So... Pretty much covers everything and the light is on guys you can see here the battery the arrow the load and the setting is zero and there's a 12 volt up there maybe that might indicate the 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 voltage that the unit is running at so yeah that pretty much sums it up for the test so so basically this right here, let me zoom out real quick. Basically this is doing the same thing as this, where these cost about seven bucks a piece. So I paid about $14 for two of these, which is about the same price for that charge controller. And this can do more things than that. I mean, I can have different programs on there, different amount of hours, timers, whatever I wanna do. And um, 
it does what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my solar panel, which is my power supply once again for the test. Oops, I turned off the wrong power supply. So as you can see, the voltage is going down and within a minute or so, this should turn off. So we'll just watch it turn off. And for you guys wondering, uh, this was about 15. This light was about 12 bucks, I believe. Miscellaneous wire here and there, a few dollars. Now the battery is gonna depend on the solar panel system that you have, how many watts you're gonna input in here, how many hours you wanna run the light, or basically the wattage you're gonna consume with whatever you hook up on the load. So if this light is 10 watts, you run it for 10 hours, that's 100 watts. So you gotta make sure you have enough solar panel to charge your battery and uh, have the capacity in there. And there you go, guys. So this is pretty much it for this uh, test here. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And maybe in a few weeks, I'll set this up in the remote location that I need it. So thank you for watching, guys, and have a good day. And see you later. Bye-bye.